Righto, this is a great Australian story, people. Um, this was the moment a kangaroo went rogue. Check it out. It's not over yet. Comes back. Repeated after repeated hit after hit. Round after round. And the dogs were no help. Six minutes and 22 seconds is what, how long this went on for. It's like a prize fight. Until he got him down on the ground. And I tell you what, the man at the centre of that, Cliff Dares from Ballina in New South Wales, joins us now. He's live. A great Australian. And alive. Cliff, nice to see you. Nice to see you're OK. I mean, talk to us, because it looks absolutely terrifying. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I didn't come out that good, but, yeah, I've got a few bruises and scars on me, so, yeah. Cliff. Uh, my dogs were barking and I sort of... Yes. Yeah, tell us what happened. Uh, my dogs were barking uh, just last week there and I went out to see what they were barking at and there was a six-foot buck roo in a bad mood trying to rip my little dogs out of the yard. And um, I sort of went around the side near it, about 30 foot from it, and uh, shoot it away, but it didn't want to shoo away. It just put its claws up, stood on its back feet and started chasing me. And... Um, I thought, oh, well, I better get out of here. I started running into my yard, and next thing you know, I slipped over and it's jumped on me back. And uh, I picked up a stick that was fortunate enough where I landed with was a stick, so I fought it off with a stick, and after three whacks with the stick, it snapped like a carrot. And then I thought, well, oh. this thing means business. It's going gonna, it's gonna to mongrel me real good, so I took it to the ground. It's the only way I could deal with it. And um, I suppose if I hadn't, it would have been a lot worse. Mm. And, um, yeah, I was on the ground for five minutes after that wrestle in it and it, it tried to gouge me face and um, I put my head down so it gouged me on the top of the head. Um, yeah, then it, it bit my finger and then it actually put its back leg, its, its back claw in through my leg and about an inch and a half in the back of my leg and shredded me pants down to the cuff and, uh, yeah, so I sort of wrestled it and got me, got me composure and um, after that I sort of made an escape plan to get off it and when I run away it chased me around the car in the yard so yeah it's about really all Jeez. I can tell you about what happened I sort of got a f quite a few marks but uh, he was in a nasty mood I don't know what was wrong with him well that's really it isn't it we know that um, ladies... we know <laughs> they can be fatal right um, a, a kangaroo attack like this do you what do you reckon was going with on with it was he flirting with you do you think big fella handsome rooster like you Oh, look, who knows? I probably, probably I'm probably that good looking. He might have mistaken me as one of his girls. <laughs> that's what I, I was thinking. Know. I'm I know not that sure that's them, the case. That's what I was I thinking. Some, yeah. <laughs> I know some of them get pretty crooked. Every year there's a certain grass that pops up and it's called Polaris grass. And oh. I know that when they eat it, they go a little bit funny and they get what they call Polaris toxicity. I'm not sure whether he had that or... He was just, I don't know, he was aggressive. He wanted to pull my dogs out through the fence and, mm. and uh, mongrel them too, so. Same happens yeah. in um, Mullumbimby. <laughs> males up there. There you go. <laughs> Bit of a different yeah. result. But um, in all seriousness, Cliff, because I know you've, you've got kids and you've got grandkids, um, this could have turned yeah. out very differently had they been in the yard. <laughs> oh, look... You know, it's probably fortunate that it happened to me. There's a lot of elderly people walk past here every day and there's a lot of women with kids and on their little push bikes and women wheeling kids in prams and stuff, I suppose. Um, you know, it could have been worse. It could have been one of them, you know, so, yeah. What's the, what's the, what sort of future um, does the kangaroo hold now, my man, um, given that he's, uh, he's quite the threat um, and he's um, getting known around the world, around the neighbourhood, uh, does, he, does he have a rosy future to look forward to, do you think? Hmm? Uh, look, they're a beautiful creature. They're an Australian icon. You know, people just got to, I don't know, what I can take from the whole scenario is just, just don't go near them. You know, they can snap. We don't know how they think. They don't know how we think. And just, um, just give them their space. You know, everyone, everyone has a go at them and says, oh, you know, they're on the roads and we're hitting them with our cars. But when you really analyse it, we build our roads over there, so... Hmm. You know, they're a beautiful animal and just we've just got to give them their space, you know. Cliff, you can't go soft on the like, ruse, mate. There's like so many out there. They're a nuisance. Oh, well. <laughs> hey? Yeah, I know. You know, I know. They're, look, they're out. The, they're, the roo shooters, I can hear them all night out here shooting them and they're not giving them a fair cut, but I don't know. 
They're just, they're a beautiful creature, so we've got to just live with them, you know? Yeah. Mate, I can't believe I've you went through that and big... stared down at a roo like that, and you still love them after all of that. You're lucky, a true legend. Lucky to be alive. Well done, mate. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I didn't have much choice in the matter, so I had to do what I could. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's one of the greatest Australian stories I've ever seen, my friend, um, and, and we look forward to round two down the track. And avoid that crazy oh, grass. I, I certainly don't. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Cliff. Thanks, big fella. Woo. I've seen anything like that? I've never that seen that. Yeah. Never. There's that vision of the of the one that goes toe to toe that you've seen that. And, the, and he punches him out. But yeah. this is a full on thing. This, this, this is, is amazing. A, he's pursued by him, and then he's knocked yeah. to the ground. Look at that. Look at the sticky grab. Look at the size like of his shoulders. Saying, come, comes back for more, big fella. But okay. to crash tackle him to the ground and then stay on top of it like that. Stay away from that grass uh, up yeah. there, whatever you do. As Cliff yeah. said, mungled me real good. Yeah. Yep. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Yep. Polaris Boom. toxicity, I believe, is the name of that grass. <laughs> That's the one. It's bad.